Hey, hello, Dan and Dan. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you for your time yesterday. Appreciate it sincerely. Let's take a look at the camper we liked the most, which is the Grand Design Transcend. That's these ones over here. 297. I forget what the letters are on this one. I want to say BH, but it's not. They call it something else. Anyway, it's a bunkhouse model, so one we like the most. I thought that I would show you the roof first because it's something you rarely get to see. There's the solar panel. It's not pretend, it's real. 165 watts. That is wired and uh, connected to your inverter. That's gonna run your awning, which I have out as far as I could. We'll see that when we go downstairs. It'll run your radio, your lights, uh, what else? And your refrigerator. So all of those things can be run via your battery. And by the way, you can get a second battery for about 200 bucks installed. That way you'd have a little bit more backup, but that solar panel should keep them fresh. And that way you can run those things out in the middle of nowhere. And with the propane, you'd also have heat out in the middle of nowhere. If you needed AC, that's just a matter of a 4,500 watt generator or larger this roof has an 18 year warranty it's got the wine guard when we go downstairs we'll see the tv and the radio on and working because i got a new battery pack that allows us to do that and this uh, wine guard air 360 is going to be your antenna no more do you have to crank that up and worry about hitting a tree it's always there always on always running r40 insulation factor so the bigger the r factor the better the insulation and this is an R, a true R40. There are some brands out there that will remain unnamed that claim R40 that really isn't. Uh, even the slide outs on these grand designs are walkable. They have a, a picture on the website of about three of their reps standing on one of these, no harm, no foul. Um, it's good just to be able to go up here and, and check your seals once a year or so. Um, you can throw some beanbag chairs up here and watch the sunset or Formula One or whatever you're into. I don't know. Two ACs, 50 amp camper, you'll never be too hot. The R factor on the siding on these is an R9, and that's even better than the um, Imagines, the step up wall wise anyway, have an R7 versus an R9 here. The underbelly, they're both heated and enclosed underbellies but this underbelly has an R9 as well, where it's an R30 on the Imagine. So a little bit difference there, but this is, bottom line, a true four season camper for you. I'm gonna throw you in my pocket here for a minute while we climb down the ladder ladder. Remember we have the part here again, and that way you can test out your camper 100% thoroughly before going out into the wild, wild west. And that way, you can eliminate that most frustrating thing of going on your first camp trip and find out something doesn't work. If your first camping trip is here at the RV park with your technician, the next morning to answer any questions, you can't go wrong. So there's your ladder to the roof. This one has a unique storage in the back here and it's ample, it's a lot. So man, that's, this is exactly where you could throw your generator or other camping accoutrements. So this is that new hard wall. I haven't had one of these in a hailstorm yet, but I think this is gonna hold up. You'll still need a new roof in a strong hailstorm, but I think your walls are gonna hang up, hold up fine. Uh, hopefully you never have to deal with that. We will show you how everything works. This is your little control center, your utility bay. And there you can see the amount of solar coming in right now. Battery cut off, a fresh tank or city water. You have another 110. Grand Design's really good at giving you 110 outlets, just about everything you need, everywhere you need them. There is the inverter that's uh, responsible for running your refrigerator off the solar panel. Again, you can add a second battery here for about 200 bucks installed. Kind of recommend that. We'll fill up your propane tanks for you. You'll have two 20 pounders. Electric tongue hitch comes standard. And now we can see the awning here. It goes out, I would guess, another 
five, six feet or so from what you're seeing here. The scare light here you can turn on or off, of course. And it has outside speakers as well as inside speakers that you can play simultaneously or choose which you want to play and silence the rest. Has a bit of an outside kitchen that is underneath your awning, so that's great. Two burner stove and a mini fridge for Kool-Aid and Coors. I don't know who drinks what, but there you go. You've got a place here for an outside TV if you want to finish watching the game outside, you can. You have a separate cable connection here. And again, grand design, more 110 outlets everywhere you want. This is a little spray hose that you can punch in there. And it's a power washer kind of garden hose type thing. Here we go. So this punches right in there. And then you've got a little spray hose to spray off the kids. This, it took me two years to figure it out. You tell me what that is. Wrong. It's a it's a, what is it? <laughs> it's a flagpole holder. So you can fly your frickin' flag. Here's the interior. So again, 110, 110 over here as well. So lots of places to put your air fryer, espresso machine, whatever you're doing. Lots of storage in the kitchen area here. Grand Design only does pocket screws, no staples, nice hinges here, and solid wood. This is wrapped, and this is wrapped, so that's the same on all of them pretty much. But the doors are solid, so you're not going to get that wobble that you'll get on other brands as you continue shopping if you do. Metal undermounted sink, which means it's easy to clean. One piece molded countertop, so no separation here like some of the older ones did. You have a shoe cubby here. The women love the shoe cubby. More storage, more 110. And then you have your recliners next to your big windows. All these windows, Dan, open up 50%. So you can get a good breeze going through here on a day like today when you don't need any AC at all. Your, uh, I don't know what you're gonna put in there. Your remotes, I guess, huh? And then these, of course, recline. Your refrigerator is a eight cubic foot. Fri freezer on the top, fridge on the bottom. Remember, you've got that little mini fridge there as well. Grand Design just really knocks it out of the park as far as storage. Even under here, most companies just leave that blank. They're gonna put a drawer there for you to put whatever you wanna put there. Microwave, this night light goes on or off. And then a three burner stove. The table will turn into a, a bed if you ever needed it, but we're going to show you the big behind door number one there is going to be your big bunkhouse. You'll never need to set this up as a bed, I don't think. Um, you'll have an AM FM radio in here with the remote control. I can't play that too long or YouTube flags me but this is uh, AM FM and you can stick a uh, it's Bluetooth of course as well and you can play like I said inside speakers outside speakers simultaneously or divide them up here's your TV only plays 1950 Westerns I hope that's okay no you got a control that can play whatever you want but it's a smart TV so it's a Roku TV right from the get-go you can stream right to it more storage more storage. Look how deep this goes. Uh, I'm, I cannot touch the back wall, so that's a lot of storage. Grand Design also does great big wide openings for their doors, and that really just opens up the whole feel of the camper. Here is the aforementioned bunkhouse. Notice that everybody has their own window. Everybody has their own charging station their own lights, a place for a TV. If you want a TV in the bunkhouse, you can. Octopi, octopi hooks, more 110, more storage, one, two, three, four drawers. Sweet. Your bathroom will have not a plastic, but, okay, that's it. So 
you can set these anywhere that's something dark, um, like your pass through, or or here at the entry. It could be a motion sensor. So that was off as I approached it, came on as I turned, came towards it. But you can adjust that to either just turn it constantly on, off, or motion sensor. In your bathroom, you're going to have not a plastic toilet, but a porcelain toilet. Lots of towel space again. A purposely small sink so that you have some counter space. That's the trade-off there. This shower door is kind of unique. Initially, it seems kind of flimsy and cheap, but it's the same one that they put in the Airstreams for 10 times the money. Um, they do use a different fabric here, but it's the same door. And the point of it is that when you, it's spring-loaded, as you open it here, it squeegees your water off down here, runs into your basin, and that way you don't have any mildew later on to have to clean up. In your bedroom, where the... That's interesting. So this AC is on. That's crazy. So that power pack that I got, that's an EcoFlow, and I got the smallest one. It's not supposed to be powerful enough to run ACs, but it was running the heck out of that AC the whole time. That's crazy. I'll show you that power pack, so it's kind of neat to have. And you can get them so what they're, they're big enough to run ACs and power the whole darn camper with it without having to have a gas generator running. Um, so this one has an extra closet. You've got shelving in this one, little drawer here, 110 and USB on each side of your bed. This one's probably going to be shelving as well. It is. And then more storage up above your bed. And then a closet at the foot of your bed. With all kinds of... Well, there's a downside. Where's the light? Come on, Grand Design. Where's your light in here? No light in there. Um, but lots of place to hang your clothing. A couple drawers. I'm missing a drawer there. I think I had a kid try to stand on it. We will fix that, of course. And a TV backer here in the bedroom as well. So you can have TVs wherever you want, wherever you want. America, what are you going to do? Storage under the bed. Oh, there's the missing drawer. <laughs> we'll get that put together for you. But lots of storage under the bed for odds and ends. And again, a true queen bed, Dan. It's a 60 inches by 80 inches. So replacing the mattress with any favorite brand, true queen will work. Buying sheets and comforters for it is easy because of that size. A lot of campers this size have a short queen and that's hard to buy accessories for. So there we go. I know you're a little bit away from actually making a purchase, but I'm ready when you are. And for anybody else that might happen to see this, my number is a Montana number. 406-696-4750. 406-696-4750. View to Texas location. This is a Grand Design Transcend 297. What do they call it? QB. Who knows what that stands for? Queen bed? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, it's hard to figure out the uh, thought processes on some of these names. I think they're just running out of names and numbers. So, 406-696-4750. We are Crestview RV Exit 220. I don't know how to zoom this camera. I'd zoom it, but there we are. I have an idea. Let's go camping.